What's in a name? Well, a lot, depending on who you ask. I've been here 37 years, U.S. Bank Arena. Right, right. I don't care what they call it. The privately owned U.S. Bank Arena has carried the same brand for about two decades, but no more as the bank announced its passing on naming rights moving forward. The branding and signage is likely to go starting next week, though the bank is expected to have some kind of presence as part of a three-year agreement. As far as a new name? The 513 Arena. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, I think uh, something that I would be that would be interesting would be to give it a name that is not a brand name, like, you know, a famous person from Cincinnati. The future brand isn't clear. There have been disappointments surrounding the aging arena. After all, it's more than 40 years old. In 2014, county officials talked about needed upgrades after Cincinnati got passed over for the 2016 Republican National Convention. In 2017, arena officials pushed for a brand new building to attract more conventions and concerts, but that stagnated. City Councilman David Mann says an arena overhaul will cost a lot of money. Some figures have surpassed $300 million. Mann says taxpayers just haven't been interested in footing that bill. I think the name is the least of the problem. The larger problem is uh, what's necessary to modernize the arena and who might be willing to pay for it. And that was WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin reporting. It is not clear yet what brand or name we will see a top U.S. Bank arena. All right.